So let's talk about secondary hemostasis, which is clot formation by coagulation, activation of the complement and the kinin pathways. To start with, let's look at the intrinsic pathway, which is here. It starts by the exposure of collagen and basement membrane, which activates uh, factor 12, turning it into 12A, which in turn activates factor 11, turning that into factor 11A, and again that activates factor 9 into factor 9A, and then finally factor 8 into factor 8A. This sequence is easily remembered if you simply think of it as 12, 11, 9, 8. So counting down from 12, but skipping 10. So all of this is known as the intrinsic coagulation pathway. This is measured by the partial thromboplastin time, PTT, also known as activated partial thromboplastin time, which normally should be 25 to 40 seconds. If it is longer, you know that there's something wrong with the intrinsic pathway. Now we move on to the extrinsic pathway, which is over here. This starts with tissue factor, which activates factor 7 into factor 7A, and then from there on it joins the common pathway. So the extrinsic coagulation pathway is measured by the prothrombin time, PT, which normally is anywhere from 12 to 15 seconds. So if this is prolonged, you know that there's something wrong with the extrinsic path of, part of the pathway. Finally, moving on to the common pathway, once the extrinsic and intrinsic pathways come together, they together activate factor 10 into factor 10A. This is then joined by factor 5, factor 5A. Together they convert factor 2, which is also known as prothrombin, into factor 2A, thrombin. Thrombin then activates fibrinogen, breaking it down into fibrin uh, monomers. These monomers then aggregate together to form a, a fibrin mesh. So this mesh here will stabilize the platelet pug. So the coagulation cascade at first can look quite daunting, but actually it's, it's really not that bad. So let's look at haemophilias. These are inherited coagulation disorders where you have a deficiency in certain factors. So haemophilia A is a deficiency in factor 8. So and haemophilia B is a deficiency in factor 9. So both of these affect the intrinsic pathway, which causes you to have an increased partial thromboplastin time. In my next video, I'll talk about heparin, how it works, and the different kinds of heparin available, and their clinical uses.